everyone! Welcome to this episode of Yvonne's Place. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks about using bobby pins. There are so many little tricks that I've learned about bobby pins and I'm going to share them with you. That way you can be a more efficient bobby pinner and learn how to properly use these things. One trick I've learned is if you want your bobby pins to stay in better, you take like a washcloth and you put your bobby pins on the washcloth and then you spray them with hairspray and, and then you cover it up with the washcloth and wait a few seconds. That way they have a bit more stick and they stay in better in your hair. The other trick is that, do you see on the bobby pin how there's the little curvy side and then, and then there's the flat side? Most people put the flat side in their hair. You, you don't want to do that. You want to flip it and you want the curvy side to go in your hair. My mind was blown because I've always seen the curvy side up even on like the like decorative bobby pins. The flat side was always the side that you stuck in your hair. Was the side that, side that you stuck in your hair. So I was like, oh my goodness, but you really can tell a difference if you stick the flats this side in your hair. It stays in so much better. And also, another key rule with bobby pins, two, is better than one. You want to make an X out of them whenever you stick them in your hair. That way they stay in so much better than just one. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you now. I have curled my hair with Con Hair Spiral Flexible Rollers. And I have a tutorial on those already that you can you go and watch. Alright, but I'm just going to do a little twist. in my hair. This would be the way I would normally style it. Just twist down. This is nothing special. It's real quick and easy. Then I'm going to take my bobby pin and I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to spread it apart like this. And I'm going to take the curvy side and put it down and the flat side's going to be up. And I'm going to push it up into my twist. Then I'm going to take another bobby pin and do the same thing. And then I'm going to run it through up again so that they make a little X. And then you could either hide that or you could just let it leave it alone. I mean, bobby pins are hard to see anyway. But with these tricks and tips, you will become a more efficient bobby pinner. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.